welcome back to Crafting with Crystal. I'm Crystal. This is Fun Cream and Fridays. Um, so this craft we're going to be doing is this little um, accent, Christmas accent for your table. You can put flowers in it um, or a tea light, which is preferably what we're going to use. I don't have a tea light, but I do have these uh, nice little lights here. Yeah, I show them in my I do have salt at the bottom <laughs> already, so that's why it's not going all the way down. Okay, but for today's training, you're going to need obviously a mason jar, clear mason jar. It can have all this embossing on it, preferably find one without it, because um, that would be a lot easier. You're going to need Mod Podge. I have a dishwasher safe one here, uh, just because this, the one I so happen to have, you do not need this one. This is only if you're going to be uh, washing it in your dishwasher, which obviously you're not going to do that, and this, the Epsom salt will come off. Um, you will need glitter, preferably white. I used silver just because I wanted to add a little bit of personality to mine, and you can't really tell the difference here. Still shiny. You're going to need Epsom salt. I'm told that this is the expensive brand, um, but I use it for crafting. So if you can find a cheaper one, if you just wanna use regular salt, it's completely up to you. You are gonna need a paintbrush. You're going to need white paint um, because we, uh, I found through this that sometimes the Mod Podge doesn't stick very well in all areas, especially if you can't lay a uh, consecutive nice smooth layer down without making lines which i can't i don't know about you um, but that's why i'm going to paint it white first so there's no see-through um, you're going to need something to mix your epsom salt and your glitter in you want them thoroughly mixed up and you're going to want some twine last thing that you're going to need is a little bit of foliage so that you can stick to it this one isn't stuck to it and i didn't cut off the little stem there because it is just a sample I'm borrowing this from someone, uh, this little accent here. Um, so I didn't glue it down, but you're more than welcome to get a glue gun and a glue stick, as well as some minor foliage that you can go ahead and glue to the side of your mason jar there, which is ideally what you want. I just kind of strung this through my string here just to give you an example of what it is going to look like. I did also forget to mention that you do want something that you can uh, work on so that you're not getting paint everywhere. I do happen to have this little uh, plate that I already used for this one. Um, and you'll see why at the very end, but I'll explain now. The Epsom salt and the glitter, although it sticks to the Mod Podge, obviously there's gonna be layers to it and it will start flaking off. So the last thing, if you're not going, if you're going to be moving this around quite a bit or storing it away, what you also wanna get is a spray adhesive and um, spray it outside. Spray adhesives are really strong smelling, so please don't do it inside. Please be careful and safe when you're doing these crafts. Uh, but you'll, uh, from about one to two feet away from your project, go ahead and spray it all around with a spray adhesive so that it really locks everything in. I didn't do that because again, I'm doing this at work and uh, I don't want the building to smell like spray adhesive. But that's also a minor note. Something that you can work on that you don't mind getting dirty and um, just something you can lay your paint down on, basically. Okay, so I'm just using my foam brush to just kind of glide it over my mason jar. If you can see, it's still splotchy. It's still fairly see-through all the way around. Um, and that's okay because the Mod Podge hopefully is gonna cover those areas and the Epsom salt will stick. And of course, the spray adhesive will then stick everything to it. So you can make this as thin or as thick as you'd like. I'm making mine fairly thin so that I can still see through it. If you're having trouble with these uh, embossed words here, you can do something that I like to call a scoot and you just kind of scoot it all over and then smooth it out. That way it can get in every single one of those crannies. At this point, you're going to want to let your mason jar dry. Uh, you want the, the acrylic paint to really set in on the glass and then afterwards, you can go ahead and Mod Podge it so that um, we're not flaking off any of this uh, 
gooey acrylic paint that we already have on there. We don't want them to mix together because it might not react well and just fall right off. So make sure it dries fully and then you can add your Mod Podge. A quick note while I'm letting this set. Um, I did attempt to with my first jar here, uh, just Mod Podge it straight onto the glass instead of the acrylic paint and Epsom salt and glittering the outside. But I also attempted to do the same thing on the inside and the inside uh, is a little bit smoother than the outside. The Mod Podge wasn't sticking very well. Um, so I found that out the hard way. So it doesn't quite stick to the inside. Um, and of course you don't want things to stick to the inside of your cup. You want them to just be able to come right out. But it didn't really affect uh, the way it looks in regular light. As you can see, it looks pretty even all the way around. You can see the dark line here where the inside is uh, has a whole bunch of, you can see that, Epsom salt and glitter still inside. I didn't know what to do with the extra bits and I didn't want to get rid of it. As we say on this channel, we're going to repurpose everything. So I will eventually use that. I will probably even use it on this one just so I don't waste anything. Um, but as a minor note, Mod Podge will not work on the inside of the mason jars unless you're planning on taking your time with that and like using the right Mod Podge or even a spray adhesive. Um, I did not do that however. I'm only doing the outside of mine. I attempted to do the inside so that I could give you an example. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for the outer decoration. So let's move on. Okay, so now that it has dried, uh, we're gonna go ahead and Mod Podge our um, mason jar. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and add some Epsom salt and some gutter to my cup here. I went ahead and poured everything out of my other mason jar that I had left over. And uh, we're just gonna use this uh, to mix it in. You don't need too much. I would say less than a cup, maybe about half a cup to start with. You don't want to uh, waste anything. And of course, they're gonna smell good because they're Epsom salt. Okay, so this is what I currently have in there. And I'm just going to pour just a tiny bit of glitter on the top. And I have a little pencil here. I'm just gonna mix it all in. So now it is all mixed in and it's just a bunch of clump. We're going to go ahead and add our Mod Podge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it directly onto my mason jar and then quickly but neatly pour the Epsom salt and glitter over it. You want to make this as even as possible but again if you're anything like me it's not going to be. Um, but at least have at least a thin layer all the way around. All right, now that I have that all the way around, I'm going to quickly and neatly, quickly and neatly um, pour my Epsom salt over this. Not so neat. Now that I have the bulk of it on there, all I'm going to do is use what I have left on this plate and roll it around. Or I'm going to tap it gently rather. You don't want to roll it because it will uh, start flaking off. I'm going to add a little bit more Mod Podge to the bottoms here. I didn't quite get enough. All I'm doing is I'm adding some to the areas that the rolling won't get to and shaking it off. This can get quite a bit messy so again have a nice clean work area, something put down so that you're not making a mess everywhere. Okay, I'm going to tap the excess off so I have a nice good coat all the way around. What I'm going to do with my excess is put it back into my old jar. 
waste not one not right place this back on my working area and then I'm going to do a couple loops of this twine you'll also need scissors <laughs> you'll also need scissors for this craft um, but only to cut the twine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the middle here and then wrap it around once and then just keep going around. And obviously this is gonna get stuck on your jar at certain points, so just keep trying to work away from it. Okay, now that you've got a nice thing of twine going around, go ahead and knot it, tie it off. You can hear the Epsom salt slowly flaking off. Again, the last step of this, if you want, and you have it, is adhesive glue sprayed one to two feet away from here. And at this point, I would get a little accent, something like this, mistletoe, um, anything that they sell at maybe like the Dollar Tree, um, poinsettias, something just small enough that will fit directly underneath your little bow here and you'll super glue it directly to the mason jar. Again, I am borrowing this one so I'm not going to super glue it but that would be <laughs> the last step unless you're you know, coating it with your spray adhesive. So there was our craft for the day. I'm going to go ahead and thread this back in here. There was our craft for the day. So uh, it was just that simple, that easy. And again, a tea light is preferable to Christmas lights or anything else because it will start from the bottom and glow up, obviously. Uh, super simple, super fun. Glad we got it done in one day. <laughs> that shows you how quickly this went. Um, Share with your friends, comment below, let us know if you like seeing this, if you'd like more of this, if you'd like something similar to this next year during Christmas, or you would prefer something that's more uh, hands inclusive, multiple things rather than just one small project. Um, I can do those things, just let me know, <laughs> comment again. Uh, hope you had fun with us today. Again, this was Captain Crystal, Fun Cream and Friday. I hope you all return to us and continue to craft daily. Have a great day. Throughout this video, you might see me changing clothes. Do not panic. Uh, I am just making this video over a couple different days. Oh, that's how quickly it dries. We're still on one day. Yay! <laughs>